Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus reading for the weekend of the 29th, 30th and 31st of May. And then next week we'll be starting June. <laughs> just, I can't believe I'm even saying that. I feel like it's just absolutely flown past this last few months. Um, very excited though, because I'm starting the new classes in June. It'll be really good to see how they go. Very excited to have that happening. Finally, been talking about doing it for a really long time and um, finally getting around to it. Okay, so for this reading, for this bonus read, I'm going to use the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Ethereal Visions um, deck by Matt Hughes. Um, I tried to get hold of this deck for a really long time, but a lot of places don't have it anymore. So I just think it's stunning. Alrighty, let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the artist coming through. You know, it's funny because in this deck, there's new cards in this deck that haven't been around before. And I'm looking at it thinking, maybe it is something to do with the magician, but it's actually card 23. So it goes beyond the normal sort of tarot deck. And this is about, the vessel of creation. This card signifies mankind and shows when you need to open to the knowledge that is available if you stop and set aside the direction of the human condition and listen. So it's about being a visionary interpreter, being creative and passionate. So it's not a card that was in the old deck, but certainly resonates a little bit with the What's Cracking reading today. So this is about creating your own life, being a visionary, seeing what's in front of you here. Um, beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, behind that I have the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands, no, just notice this guy's got wings on his feet and he's writing here. So maybe for some of you, you know, when we talk about creating a vision, you're doing some of the things here that you're, you're doing on your life path here because there's forward movement. Page of Wands behind talks about some sort of news, some sort of messages coming in, um, something passionate that's going to help you see forward here. It's going to help you see towards the future. This is the tree of life sitting here. Okay, and we do have the two of wands here. Wow, okay, this is very, very much about the future. Five of Cups coming through, though, with the Devil card behind it. So I feel like, yeah, the King of Pentacles behind that. I feel like it's sort of like a continuation of the What's Cracking reading this morning. I feel as though a lot of you are starting to see your way forward after making some changes in your life. Um, I feel, looking at this Devil card and this Five of Cups, it's as if life wasn't really... Um, perhaps giving you what you wanted here and perhaps you've been a little bit stuck looking back at the past trying to understand what you want in your future. Um, the devil energy can represent the ego so I feel you're getting a very sort of similar reading to the what's cracking reading but this one is forward movement because you're starting to visualize a future here um, and you're starting to understand how to pull, pull out a different pathway or walk a different way. Um, into your future. So with your new knowledge and your new idea of how you want things to be, it's like you're starting to now create with the universe. Um, so perhaps you have been stuck and sort of disenchanted or disempowered by what's been going on because it's like you're sort of understanding now if you let go of some of the things you've learned or some of the things you think you should be doing and follow your own passions and your own path, things start to turn around for you. And it's sort of like that feeling of letting go of lack and embracing gratitude um, and understanding that, you know, when you're sitting back and looking back at the things that you've missed out on or that you haven't had, you're not allowing yourself to move forward. And there's a huge shift forward in this reading. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups coming through. Now, the Knight of Cups can rep represent the water signs, Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. He has a cup that he's about to offer here. We don't know what's in the cup though. We do have the sun coming out here. So you could be dealing with a Leo here as well. Some sort of happiness coming through. The world is here. 
So you're closing out some and the moon. Wow, all major arcana there. Okay, well, except for the pay, except for the nine. Here, what I see is you embracing happiness, it, it, just taking this new leap into a new world. You're finishing out cycles here. This is like a continuation of the what's cracking reading. You're closing out cycles and you are taking the leap of faith, not really knowing what's in your future. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like you're just embracing whatever comes your way now. So you're no longer clinging to the past. You're no longer clinging to past ideas. You are now looking forwards. And it doesn't matter with the moon what comes in your way because you feel now that you have what you need to move forward. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> So you have the Ace of Wands coming through here. So it promises a brand new start. I think this Knight of Cups is your own cup. I think that you're, because you've started to learn to love yourself here. But truly love yourself. Not love yourself in a, I'm going to go and have a massage and a back rub. Not that sort of loving yourself. This is loving yourself from the very core of your being. And understanding that you deserve beautiful things. Letting go of some of the old ideas. Okay, so we have the well coming through here. You know, yesterday I discovered the well and discovered today that are actually 23. There may even be more than that. And here's the full card. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow. And hooly dooly. So what I have here is I have the sun, the moon, the world, the well, the fool, and the Ace of Wands. You are taking this leap into the future, knowing full well that whatever you want, whatever you see in your future is now available to you because you've let go of the past and you've done the work that was required. This is about moving into a new cycle. It's letting go of your past beliefs, your past ideas, and completely rebirthing yourself into a new time. This is absolutely stunning. The energy coming from this reading is taking my breath away. It is amazing. And it's funny, I heard somebody say the other day, see, you know, like you almost feel like scared to pick up the next card because it's so beautiful. You just want to leave it there. But I need to give you all the information. The Seven of Cups is coming up in this reading too. So a lot of you here are seeing beyond the illusion. What does that mean? When we grow up, when we form ourselves, when we form our ego, because everyone has an ego, an ego is not in itself and of itself a bad thing. We all need an ego. An ego protects us from bad things. It helps us get through times when we feel uncomfortable. It gives us some sense of who we are. Living in your ego is when it becomes unhealthy. That is representing yourself as something different than the true person you were born to be. But there is a place for ego. And the ego is formed through our family upbringing, through our schools, through our teaching, through our jobs, through our friends. Um, and it's about how much we absorb of that energy from other people and other situations that we adopt as being part of who we are. Um, and we believe often those things and we were talking about this yesterday I think or the day before on the daily diary you know how many people listen to the news and believe everything they're told because it's on the news it really has genuine stories genuine things so people believe sometimes um, so if you've been um, you know brought up to think that you are not good enough you will never achieve you will never be the person that you want to be or you know you don't have the confidence you don't have the stamina whatever it is if you grew up believing those things then you limit yourself to what you can have in the world now the power of manifestation comes from believing believing that you deserve the best of everything that is right for you but if you are in the world thinking you don't deserve things or continuously um, negatively programming yourself with things that don't serve you, then you start to believe what you tell yourself. And I hear it so often. I'm too old for that. Um, I can't wear that. I'm too fat. 
I can't do that, I don't have the money. I can't be that because it takes too many years to learn. I hear people who have constantly talked themselves out of having the life they want because they don't believe they either have enough time or they don't have the capacity. Um, and then I hear people in their language often who don't even realize they're talking to themselves negatively. Um, you know, that the people who say things without even realizing it's a negative statement. And that's all of these illusions. These are all of the cups that belong to other people along the way that form the mask that keeps you seeing the world through your true self. Because you're seeing yourself through illusions that other people have given you. So you don't see who you are with the, the skeleton in the hand. It's who you are. This mask here is not. So this is sort of like being able to see it now, being able to see what you've been doing, having those moments now where you go, hang on a moment, this is what I really want. What is stopping me from having what I want? And when you come up with the idea of why it's something is stopping you, question, is that your thinking or is that something you were told? Because that's what happens. And people tell you things and people say things to you because they want to pull you down, because they see your potential, because they can't do what they know you're capable of. So people negatively program you into believing that's who you are. And clearly here it's not. Clearly here you have the power and the capacity to do whatever you want to do. So it's time now to be able to let go of these illusions, to let go of this idea of who you think you are and be true to who you are. How many times have you said, I want to do this and then gone, well, I can't because I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. We all do it. But that calling gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And I always say to people, spirit only pokes you so many times with that stick and then they will throw the stick at you. Then comes the tower if you are not listening. So here, clearly, it's saying that light is going to be shone on this for you. You're going to be able to see what's in your wishing well. You're going to be able to take that leap of faith. You're going to be able to move into the unknown. Walking into the future without having any idea or any preconception of what is coming towards you. And you are going to be happy about that. Because you've been able to release a lot of this past stuff that's held you back. Okay, so we have the seven of wands here. Don't be hanging on to it because it feels comfortable. Because the stars here saying it is part of your destiny. A lot of major arcanas in this reading again. Um, the seven of wands tells me that for a lot of you, this old, familiar, uncomfortable pattern that you've been living in, feels like an old pair of jeans. So putting on a new pair of jeans, we all do this. How about putting on a new pair of shoes? Your old shoes have just gone past the wayside and you can't wear them anymore and you have to buy new shoes and they do not feel comfortable and you wear them around and you think, I have missed my old shoes. I just want my old shoes back. But you know you can't have them anymore. They're not safe. They're not right for you, whatever. So you have to get new used to the new shoes. But then after a little while, the new shoes start to feel really good and they look good too. And you're like, okay, I'm all right with these shoes now. They feel fine. This is the seven of wands energy. Not wanting to let go of what is familiar to you because what isn't familiar feels different. So therefore your ego kicks in and goes, it's unsafe to do that. If you don't look at the future and plan at every moment of your day, what will happen? This could happen, that could happen. You need to say goodbye to the ego. This is dropping the mask here and taking on something very new. Let's just have a recap first. Okay, so we have you creating your new life here. You, there is something here, some news, some message, something that's going to get you moving forward because you're seeing a new way to live here. This is about letting go of the past, embracing the future and allowing this energy that's held you back to go. 
Wow, some really stunning readings this week. And so many people coming through some sort of rebirth process. I do have the medicine wheel coming through for you here. Uh, card 35. To manifest clear blue skies in your life, it is important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Continue to the west and notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and show it? End in the east direction, visualising how you want to live the next chapter of your life. It's up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minutes, days or months. But when you are done, make sure to step outside of the wheel and contemplate your journey. This is about not postponing things any longer. And it talks about being difficult to start, but finding the inner strength to move forward. And it's funny, isn't it? Because you can't make a mistake here. All you can do is embrace the new. Beautiful things are waiting for you. You've just got to release what you know and release the past. Fantastic reading. Have a wonderful weekend.